Hello students, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve this example problem 1.4. That is write the equations of motion in S domain for the system shown in figure. S domain is nothing but whenever we write our force balance equation in Laplace transform, it is known as S domain equation. And they are also asked to find, determine the transfer function of the system. So this is the given problem. So from this problem, here the problem seems to be look simple but there is a small trick which we must know so here this problem consists of only one mass right but here the main thing is here the spring and dash part are getting directly directly connected whereas spring and dash part should not get directly connected you can also refer our previous problems so if suppose if a spring and dash part or any other two elements are get connected like this we should insert a mass m whose value is equal to 0. Right. So, the displacement of mass m is given as x of t. And here, the displacement of mass m equal to 0, we are taking it as x1 of t. Right. Now, we are going to uh, find the transfer function. So, for that, I am going to draw the free body diagram of mass m1. So, here in this case, it is clear that that is mass m. So, just count the number of elements which is connected to mass m. So, here in this case, we will be we are having b2, b1. So, totally two elements are connected with mass m. Apart from that, there is an applied force f of t. So, first I am writing the applied force. So, the applied force is f of t. And the opposing force is, there will be an opposing force provided by this mass m. So, first I am writing this one, Fm. And the second opposing force is given by Fb1. And the third opposing force is given by Fb2. Right. Now, I am going to write the force balance equations. So, as we all know that here Fm is directly proportional to the d square x by dt square so, which is nothing but which is equal to proportionality constant is m here. So, m into d square x divided by dt square. And the next one is fb1. So, fb1 will be directly proportional to the dx by dt. So, here the proportionality constant is here as it is b1. So, just write it as b1 into dx by dt. And the next one is fb2. So, here fb2 this b2 is connected between two masses that is m equal to 0 and m as we are drawing the free body diagram of mass m we should consider the respective displacement of mass m which is nothing but x so fb2 is directly proportional to d by dt of x minus x1 right because this B2 is connected between M equal to 0 and M. And here I am considering only, that is I am drawing the free body diagram of mass M. So the respective displacement of mass M is X. So I have to write it as X minus X1. So this equation gets reduced to, that is equal to B2 into D by DT of X minus X1. Now, I am going to write the force balance equation. So, force balance equation is nothing but here the applied force is F of t and the opposing forces are these three. So, which is equal to Fm plus Fb1 plus Fb2. Just substitute the values which is nothing but m into d square x by dt square plus b1 into dx by dt plus b2 into d by dt of x minus x1 this is your f of t the next one is just take your laplace transformation so when you take laplace transform f of t becomes f of s which is nothing but m into that is s square into s x of s plus b1 into s into x of s plus b2 into s into here x of s minus of x1 of s so, in this case, I am taking x of s term commonly outside. That is x of s, x of s and x of s. So, 3 terms. So, when I take x of s outside, the remaining terms will be m into m into s square plus b1 into 
as plus here again b2 into s. The remaining term will be minus b2 into s into x1 of s. So, this is our equation number 1. Now, we are going to draw the free body diagram of mass m equal to 0. So, here in this case, this mass m equal to 0 is connected to two elements. One is k and another one is the dash pot. So, here in this case, there is as here there is no mass. Actually, we have drawn a mass which is m equal to 0. So, there will be no opposing force produced by this mass m equal to 0. So, we have to consider only the opposing force produced by the spring and the dash pot. So, here in this case, the opposing force is given as Fk. And another one is, another opposing force is produced by this B2. So, write the respective equation. So, when you write, Fk will be directly proportional to here. The respective displacement of mass m equal to 0 is x1. So, Fk is directly proportional to x1 which is nothing but equal to kx1. And the next one is Fb2. So, Fb2 is directly proportional to d by dt of, here we are considering m equal to 0. That is, we are drawing the free body diagram of mass m equal to 0. So, the displacement of mass m equal to 0 is x1. So, we have to write it as x1 minus, okay, this is simply x. So, x1 minus x. So, which is equal to b2 into d by dt of x1 of s minus x of s. So, just here there is no opposing force. That is, by Newton's law, There is no opposing force. There is no applied force here. So, it is 0. And the opposing forces are nothing but Fk plus Fb2. So, just substitute the values. This becomes Kx1 plus B2 into d by dt of... Sorry, here comes x1 minus x. That's it. d by dt of x1 minus x. So, d by dt of here when it becomes x1 minus x. So, just take Laplace transformation. So, when you take Laplace transformation, this equation becomes 0 equal to k1 into x1 of s plus b2 into s into x1 of s minus x of s. So, here I am taking x1 of s term commonly outside. So, when you take x1 of s, the remaining terms will be k1 plus b2 into s minus x of s into b2 into s yes. right so here in this equation we are asked to find the transfer function so transfer function is nothing but laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input here the input is nothing but f of t and output is nothing but x of t so when you take laplace transformation so that is the transfer function will be equal to Laplace transform of output. Here the output is x of t. When you take Laplace, this becomes x of s. And the input is f of t. And when you take Laplace, this becomes f of s. So, we are asked to find the ratio between x of s to f of s. So, here just now consider your equation number 1. Here we are having f of s, x of s. And here the extra term is x1 of s. So, now I am going to substitute, that is I am going to replace this x1 of s in terms of x of s. So, just consider this equation again. So, just rearrange. So, when you move this expression to left hand side, it becomes positive. That is x of s into b2 of s is equal to x1 of s into k1 plus b2 of s. So, we want only x1 of s. So, x1 of s is nothing but x of s into b2 of s divided by k1 plus b2 into s right so let this be equation number 2 now substitute this equation number 2 in in our equation number 1 right so now i am rewriting this equation number 1 again so that becomes f of s is equal to x of s into ms square plus b1s plus b2s minus b2s into x1 of s. Now substitute this x1 of s term in this equation. So that becomes x of s into 
m square plus here we are having s common so take it outside the remaining terms will be b1 plus b2 minus here b2 s this x1 of s is replaced by this expression so in this expression has another b2 of s into x of s divided by k1 plus b2 into s now i am going to take lcm so when you take lcm x of s into ms square plus s into b1 plus b2 minus here we are having two terms b2 s into b2 s so we can write it as b2 s whole square divided by k1 plus b2 into s so when you take lcm just multiply this okay this expression gets multiplied with this expression so that becomes k1 plus b2 into s minus b2 s the whole square the entire expression will be divided by k1 plus b2 into s right this is your f of s here so what we need is x of s divided by f of s so here we are having x of s and here we are having f of s so in this case just this entire expression when it moves to this side it becomes reciprocal so just bring this f of s to the denominator part here so x of s this f of s is brought down here so this entire expression will move to this side so we will be having k1 plus b2 s divided by m s square plus s into b1 plus b2 into k1 plus b2 s minus b2 s the whole square so this is the required transfer function apart from the transfer function we are asked to find write the equation of motion in s domain so the equation of motion in s domain or nothing but our equation 1 because everything is in s domain our equation number 1 and this equation number let this equation be equation number 3 this equation number 3 and equation number 1 are the respective equations in s domain that's all the problem is solved thank you